Casey, we're going to do one last run around the city, and then we're going to come in. 10-4. Just be careful out there. Roger that. Four attacks and four dead bodies. Can you believe how busy we are? <sighs> we've been so slow up until now, and now we've got this. Have you ever seen an animal do something like that to a human being? Yeah, a bear. So you're saying all the years that we both lived in this city, that now there's bears? I didn't say that. I said, I know what bears can do to people. So you've seen a bear attack? Yeah, on Facebook. Man, I thought you actually seen a bear attack, like, like in person. I'm, <laughs> I'm scared of bears. So what do you th do you think all these killings is coming from a bear? Well, then I'm going to let you handle it. I'll back you up. And cuz you're the badass that wants action. Yeah, well, you better not mess. Hey, they don't call me dead eye for nothing. No one calls you dead eye, Daniel. You just did. <laughs> I swear. If you weren't my partner. Oh, come on, Sadie, you love me. <laughs> Just be quiet. What are you making? A cake for dad. It's his favorite. My velvet. Why are you doing that? She's coming home today. Mom just told me a couple minutes ago. Seriously? Yep, so after I get this cake in the oven, I'm gonna start making his favorite dinner. When did you find out my sandwich? You always cooped up in your room studying for culinary school. I went and picked some up after you went to Arbinger High this morning. Mm, you should probably go get washed up before he gets here too. Don't. Don't what? You're not my mother, Allison. All I said was you should probably wash up. And I told you not to boss me around. Fine, do whatever you please. Be dirty, get sick, for all I care. You can be such a bossy bitch sometimes. And you can be a stubborn little asshole. Whoa, not under my roof, understood? Yes, Mom. Helena, go clean up. I'm going. What, she started it. Who's older? Oh my God, Mom, please don't. Who's older? Obviously I am. Then, why can't I expect you to behave like you are? Did you not hear her? She's the one who always starts shit with me first. Language, young lady. Yes, mother. You know she gets moody when her father isn't around. So why do you go and pick fights constantly knowing that fact? I'm so sick of this shit. Helena Marie Wilkins, knock it off right freaking now! All I'm saying is I can't wait to go to culinary school. I am so tired of her shit. So tired. Oh my god. Maybe I'll make you wait a little longer. What the hell does that even mean? I'm the one saving up for you to go to this school. Maybe I'll spend the money on something else and then you'll just have to wait. Mom. I put you in charge of watching after your sister. She is not my child. She's yours. She is your sister, your blood. You know your father and I hunt to help provide for this family. Then change your fucking occupation. I'm sorry, Mom. That, that's not what I meant to say. Bake your cake and get dinner ready. Mom. We'll talk about this later. No sign of any werewolves. Good. You can take a break, Misty. So, I finally get to meet Cameron. <laughs> you do. Excited? Well, it's always nice to meet a new member of the Knight family. Well, he didn't like me near your father. He was a dick. <laughs> yes, he was. Question, I... Uh, I haven't called her yet. She's busy in Draven City. That's good to hear, but that's not what I was going to ask. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, I was, but 
That was my second question. My first question is, why don't you see if any of the local hunters have any leads? Because I like working alone. Well, I like when it's you and me. That's all I need. As sweet as that was, maybe they have some info on the werewolf. <sighs> would you feel better if I called Roger Wilkins? Yes, I would. Plus, we haven't seen him or Sarah in a long time. And it would be nice to see how big Alice and Helena have gotten. All right. I'll give him a ring. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Dad! Definitely a daddy's girl. Dad! Hey, baby girl. I'm happy to you, see you, too. You're finally back. And you smell like a dead dog. <laughs> well, that would be because I took care of a werewolf in Headlock Grove. Feisty bastard. But your daddy got him. Good. Now you need to take a shower. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay, I made it to the bathroom. Would you load up my rifle for me? Sure thing. Thank you. Welcome back. Can you join me in the shower? Ew, Dad. I'm still here. <laughs> Rain check, <laughs> mister. Suit yourself. I got it. Wilkins residence. Yeah, he's here. All right, give me one second. Hey, Dad. It's for you. Oh, you actually just caught me before I took a shower. Who is it? I think it's the mayor. Really? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I just got back from Hemlock Grove. A werewolf, ma'am. Hmm. I can't say that I have. Four attacks? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me freshen up and eat, and then I'll head I'll head back out there. Yes, ma'am, tonight. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Ellie Bear, I know what you're about to say. Seriously? You just got back. Now you're gonna go out again? You look exhausted. Hunter's life, sweetie. I don't care. Let somebody else do it. Your mother and me are the only hunters in Harbinger City, Allison. At, at least the only kind that can deal with things like this. Dad, you need your rest. I'll rest. After I take a killer off the streets. Let the cops handle it. The cops are good at their jobs, but they can't handle the werewolf. Now, you know this. I get that you don't like this, but it's the life we live, honey. Now I'm gonna go freshen up and eat, and then I'll head back out there. I'll go with you, Dad. Hell enough. I'm ready. You trained me how to hunt and how to shoot? Let me back you up since Allison's so worried. She should go with you, Roger. Besides, Allison will be there with her. Mom! You're going. End of discussion. God, fine. Okay then. Let's eat, and then go hunt. Why are we out here right now, Dad? Rule number one. There's a 99% chance a wolf will be hunting on a full moon. The moon is what causes them to change, so anyone with lichen blood in their veins will turn. Correct. That's why we're out here, Allison. Every wild animal attack has happened on a full moon. So that means... There's a wolf hunting in Arbinger City. Correct. That's why I got a call from the mayor. She wants this wolf off her streets. Off the books, of course. Of course. Listen, I get that you don't want to be a part of this life. But your mother insisted that you come with me since you're more experienced than your sister. I can handle myself. I don't need you or Allison watching over me. I believe you. But until you graduate college and move out of the house, you will follow my rules. Understood? Understood. Good girl. We'll stop here and see if the wolf left any tracks. Okay, yeah. Hey, I tried calling you earlier, but it was busy. Must have been when Roger was on the phone with the mayor. Oh, really? What was that conversation about? The usual. A werewolf in town. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? It's funny. I'm here for the same thing. Why am I not surprised? Yep. Uh, one of the perks of being a member of this on the cross. My offer still stands. <laughs> I like being a local hunter, thank you. Okay, I get it. 
You're old school. I can respect that. Is that the only thing you respect about me, Damien? <laughs> um, Sarah, I know what you're getting at, but the only reason I called was to check in on you, Roger, and the girls. Mm-hmm. Sure you are. Hey, we have history. I've been over you for a long time. I hope so. I'm happy with Roger. And I'm happy for you. And the girls. Anyways, when you get a chance, could you tell Roger that the offer still stands for him too? He's going to tell you the same thing. I thought you were a loner anyway. I am. I just think that you guys would be a great asset for the organization. Or you'd like to be closer to me. Um, okay. Are you sure you still don't want to be with me? Uh, of, of course not. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was convincing. I'm over you, Damien. I have a wonderful husband with two great kids. Are you telling me that? Or are you telling yourself that? Well, I... Shit, Damien. That's a tough question. <sighs> it's an easy answer, sir. Is it? Hmm. I, um... I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Have a good night. You still there? I miss you. Uh, Sarah, I, I was just messing around. No, you weren't. I can hear it in your voice. You miss me too. I, um, I know how to answer that. Tell me you miss me. I want to hear you say it. <sighs> Have a good night. Good night. She's married now. I know. You've been over her for years. I know, Misty. She has two kids. We... we have history. Ancient history. You said it yourself. You need to be smart, Damien. I hate it when you're right. Someone has to look after you, especially when you make dumb mistakes. Looks like we found our wolf. Sounds big. Could be an alpha. Let's go find out. It sounded like an alpha dad. Could be. Could be not. You were saying? Right. Stay on your toes, girls. What is it? Shh, Dad, it's like three o'clock. Is that Jacob Morley? What's he doing? I'll give you one guess. We got a runner. Okay, I got Jacob. And I got that one. Helena, wait. Allison, go after your sister. Be careful. You too. Those tracks. And he or she knows that we're tracking it down. Watch my six. Always. It's a she, and she just fed. How can you tell? I can smell the blood on her breath. I'll never get used to you being able to do that. Yeah, I sense her too. Be ready. Always. I'm waiting for you for a ball. Make your move. Come on, I ain't got all night. You've been spreading your curse all over my city. Your city is mine, Hunter. Do you want to put that to the test? <laughs> is that all you got? you just run off like that? Stop talking to me like I'm your child. I'm your sister, Allison. Then stop acting like a child. There are wolves out here and you're running off as if BTF got on the damn stage. 
You gotta be quick with these things. No, you don't. I've been hunting wolves a hell of a lot longer than you have. Rule number two. Don't talk to me about rules. Rule number two, Helena. Be mindful of your surroundings. I know, Allison. Rule number three. Could you stop? Rule number three. Know your opponent. Rule number four. Stay sharp, stay focused. Please apply all of these rules. Yes, mother. It's not funny even in the slightest. Have you guys with something? Interesting. Why do you say that? You're not changed. Why do you say changed? We know what you are. And we know what you've done. On the way here, we saw a wrecked car. Two dead girls inside with their throats ripped out. Do you even know how to use those things? Keep standing there and you'll find out. That could have shot, huh? Let's put that to the test. I am going to feast on your bones. Take care of this. You're staring at me like you're really in, you kid. Can you stop joking? You are bit. Like, this is serious. You must be getting delirious. You almost sounded like you cared. I just, I just gotta get you to dad. He'll, he'll know what to do. Don't bother. You know what you have to do, Allie. No! This is not up for discussion, okay? Like, don't even think about it. Just come on. Uh, just put your shoulder, hand over me. I'll take you to dad. I know you're out here. I can smell the blood on your fingers. You should leave, Roger. I just want to be left alone. Ah, uh, so you recognize me? From Gunner's Bar and Grill downtown? Yeah. Good, good. So I recognize you too. What happened to you, man? Where's uh, Cheryl? Don't try to talk to me like we're friends. And don't speak my girl's name. Where is she, anyway? She's around. I see. Well, if you come out now, I'll end all your suffering with one shot. I highly doubt that, friend. And you'll die by my hand, Jacob. I've been hunting for 20 years. <laughs> I'm not like anything you've ever hunted before. Not feeling surprised yet, friend. I heard some gunshots earlier. Yes, you girls found my lady. Yes, it's so. Enough talk for a day. Now, where do you want it? Funny, I was about to ask you the same thing. Well, where do you want it, boy? <sighs> Told you. 20 years, you son of a bitch. Dad! It's Helena, she's been bit. We gotta get her back to the house. No, no! Baby girl! I'm fine. I'm out. I'm still me at the moment. It was Jacob's girlfriend. She's a wolf, too. She was good, but I made sure to put her down. Good, good, good job. Now, come on. Dad. No, Allison. She's my baby girl. I can't do this, all right? All right. Almost time to turn in. Oh, I think you're right. I should have gotten some coffee like you did. Would you like some of mine? Mm, Daniel? Mm. I'm sorry, I just offering. Mm. Oh. mm. what? Is that Roger Wilkins' car? It sure is. He seems to be driving awfully fast. Should we pull him off? Car 52, what's your location? Neighbors are reporting some gunfire on the east side of Harker City Woods. Roger that. Which direction was Roger's car coming from? Eastbound in the woods. That's what I thought. Sarah! Sarah! What happened? She's been bit. Helena! Take her to her There was more than one wolf. Take her to her room. Uh, I'll get the kit for the transfusion. Oh no, don't you dare. She was your responsibility. She's not my child. She was under your watch. She shouldn't have been out there in the first place. Again, 
She is not my child, and you need to do a better job at raising her. I'm gonna go and try and save your sister's life. When I get back, you better have readjusted your fucking attitude, Allison! It's quiet out here. Too quiet. I don't like it. Maybe we should call for backup. What is it? Another body. Ah, oh, shit, it's Jacob Walton. He's been shot. Looks like with a handgun. Is it a full moon out tonight? Gunshots. Call it in. Where are you going? I'm going to get my vest. Sadie, I need to get mine too. Why are you still wearing your hunting gear? More wolves have been spotted. I'm needed out there. Are you freaking crazy? Helena was just attacked. And we're dealing with that. How? I need you to guard your sister. How am I supposed to do that? Don't argue with me. I need to go to the hospital to get fresh blood for a transfusion. I won't be long, but I need you to make sure she doesn't get out. How? She can easily just walk out of her room. We've chained the room with some enchanted silver chains. Enchanted? Her, her bedroom window is chained up also, so she's not getting out of there. Like magic? Yes. And where did you learn that? It's a simple but effective spell. I, I learned it from Damien. Your ex? Yes, now I, you know what to do if she gets out, right? I don't understand why I can't just go get the blood. Do you know who to ask so that no one else asks any questions? Does that person trust you more than they trust me? Do you even know what type of blood to get for her? Okay, okay, I get it. Good, I'll be back. Be strong, Ellie Bear. Okay, I will. You've been a big help to us. I don't think you realize just how much. I will. Thanks. I just don't know how much more of this I can take. It's just too much. Hello? Hey girl. We're about 15 minutes out. What do you mean? Ah, uh, um, we were supposed to go see a movie tonight, remember? Uh, we were gonna eat dinner with your family and then head out. Oh shit, I forgot. Well, refresh your memory and get ready then. Ugh, oh, I can't. I'm on babysitting duty. Actually, I'm gonna be watching Helena for a while, so honestly, I don't know when's gonna be the next time we can hang out. We've been planning tonight for a month. What the hell, Allison? I know, I know, I'm sorry. But like I said, I have to watch Helena. <sighs> your mom does know that Helena's your sister, not your kid, right? I've been telling her that for years, but it is what it is. Okay, well, it takes about an hour to get to your house anyway, so why don't we have some drinks and then head back? Um, okay, but only for a few minutes. My mom and dad are gone right now, but they'll be back soon. Okay, cool. See you soon. I'll have them stay outside. I mean... It's safe out there, and honestly, I could really use a break. Are they still behind us? Uh, yeah. I don't know, forget, Drake's a good driver. Cool. Can't lose him. Besides, he's been in the house already. Okay, cool. Hey, um, we need to cheer up Allison. She didn't seem like herself. She's stuck on babysitting duty. Again. I mean, that can't be too bad. Yeah, but you know how her and Helena fight. It's, so it's bad. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, hey, are you sure her parents are cool with all of us coming over? Actually, it's just her and Helena. Her parents are out for a bit. Really? Awesome. Now Drake ain't got nothing to worry about. What do you mean by that? 
Oh, well. <laughs> Drake kind of has a crush on Allison. And he made a complete fool of himself the last time we were here. Ali's dad saw the whole thing, and he's been too embarrassed to make his move ever since. Wait, Drake made a fool of himself? I, I must have missed that. <laughs> oh yeah, you and Trixie went to the bathroom. Drake tried to shoot a shot at Allison, and he wound up falling flat on his face. He got so nervous, I guess he lost his balance. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, not to mention, her dad walked up to him and said, <laughs> Son, if you're gonna make a move with my daughter, you better do it better next time. <laughs> you should talk to him. And say what? Oh, hype him up. You have more confidence than he does. Be a good friend, Caleb. Uh, all right, I, I guess I'll see what I can do. Just tell him to be himself and don't overthink it. You sure you don't want to talk to him? Nah, you got this. Alright. What's bothering you? Nothing. Let me guess. It's about Allison. I fell on my face, sis, in front of her and her father. <laughs> yeah, I heard about it. Wish I was there to see it. Glad to know you have my back. Oh, will you relax? Allison thought it was funny, so you still might have a chance. You think so? I do. Just be yourself and stop being so awkward. Well, I'm always awkward, so how do I stop? You're not always awkward, Drake. You're just nervous because you left Allison for a long time, and now you're finally taking the initiative to make a move. I'm proud of you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Trixie. You're quite welcome. Will you knock it off? It wasn't that funny. That's not what Allison said. It was a YouTube moment. Her words. Great. Now she thinks I'm a dumbass. A cute, funny dumbass. You said I was cute? Something like that. How long until backup gets here? Casey said about 30 minutes. There was a fire downtown. A fire? Where? Henry's meat shop. There was a struggle inside. Henry's dead. Oh, Anna. I am so sorry to hear about your dad. Don't be. I'm not. Uh, you have something on your lip. Oh, it's not mine. You didn't. House! Catch you fuckers at a bad time! Hunter! Two hunters. Misty putting in that work. Hey, sorry about the delay. We gotta take care of a couple back there. We got here just nick of time. It's like we took out the last bit. We're all clear, Damien. Good deal. Is this your daughter? I'm his partner. Thank you very much. My apologies. Apology accepted. So what are we going to tell the captain? Nothing. Sorry, taken care of. What do you mean? The mayor already talked to your captain and took care of everything. Now I suggest you guys go home and then in the morning do your paperwork. Sadie. Yeah? The thing in the neck girl just disappeared. They sure did. Hey girl. Hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Brought out some beer. Well, that's cool. We can have them inside. No, we can't. Why not, Allie? Well, I mean, my parents are going to be home soon. It's fine. We can just drink beer out here. All right. Yeah. Out here it is, then. Yeah. Come on. Let's go hang out in the patio. Where's Lena? Um, she's sleeping right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Must be nice. Uh, hi, Allie. Yeah? Would it be all right if I could use your bathroom? Uh, can't you just do that out here? I gotta go too. I'll go with them. I'll make sure to come back before your parents get back. Fine, just don't wake Helen up, okay? We will. It'll be fine. Helen's room's all the way in the back. The guest bathroom is near the front. Don't forget to use the guest bathroom. We will. Come on, Dre, did you fall in? Hey, I'm almost done. Well, hurry the hell up, cause I gotta pee too. Finally, <laughs> 
I'll wait for you here. Go outside and talk to Allison. No, I don't want to. Dude, seriously? Man up and go. She makes me nervous, Trixie. Drake, if I swear to God, if you don't go out there and talk to Allison, I'm gonna kick your ass in front of her. And you know I will. Drake. Drake, is that you? Who's that? What did you say? I just heard Helena. I thought Allison said she was sleeping. Yeah, she did. Drake, come here. I want to talk to you for a minute. You're finally going out to talk to Allison? Drake? What is taking them so long? Uh, well, Drake drank a lot before coming over. Why would he do that? Well, he tends to drink when he gets nervous, just to calm his nerves. Why is Drake nervous? Oh, yeah. That. <clears throat> He's got it pretty bad. I mean, Drake's nice, but... Uh, look, Drake's a cool guy, but you just gotta get to know him, that's all. He literally fell on his face in front of not only me, but my dad. He had butterflies. Do you know how long he's actually liked you? I don't, but I'm sure you're gonna enlighten me. At least three years. Whoa, what the hell? Why didn't he say anything? Oh, you're kind of intimidating, Ellie. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not. Anyway. Anyways, they got five minutes, otherwise I'm going in there myself. What's wrong with them being in there? You know how my dad gets, it's just... Mm -mm. She makes a good point. Look, five more minutes, then we'll all go and get them. Why is this door chained up? Allison's putting the blame on me. Good one, right? Yeah, good one. Can you take the chains off? I don't think I can. She did a pretty good job. It's easy, trust me. All you have to do is say Santa dollars. Say what now? The chains will come off if you say it, Drake. I don't understand. How are words gonna make the chains come off? You've played Dungeons and Dragons, right? All the time since I was a kid. Okay, think of it like that. If you say the words, the chains will come off. Like you're opening a secret door. Are you trying to tell me that magic is real? Drake, you're wasting my time. Now I really have to go to the bathroom, and I can't do that trapped in here. Look, you get me out of here, and I'll put in a good word with my sister. You do that for me? You really like her, right? I do. Cool. Then I'll be your wing boy. Zenta Dalos. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. What's going on? Thank you, Drake. You letting me out is greatly appreciated. Helena, here's your reward. Uh, oh. Drag! <laughs> but that sounded like Trixie. Oh. Stay right here. What, what is it? Stay right here, I said. Shit, she's awake. I am. Thanks for the snack, sis. I was really hungry. Please tell me you didn't. I just told you. I fed. Drake and Trixie were delicious. Helena, you're my sister and I love you, but I can't let you kill anybody else. Then try and stop me. If you can. Helena? Helena! Did you hear Allison call for Helena? Yeah. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> What, what is that smell? Ah! Ah, what the fuck? Damn it, she's on the patio. It was very stupid letting them come here, Ali. Two more bodies on your ledger. Come out and face me, Elena. Why, when I'm having so, so much, much fun, fun watching, watching you squirm. squirm. I 
I can't wait to see the look on Dad's face when he sees all these dead bodies on our property and my bedroom door wide open. He's gonna blame you. You're not my child. But I am your family. You're supposed to be taking care of me. I'm your sister, damn it. I have other things to do in my life, okay? I can't just sit around being your fucking babysitter all the time. Screw you, I'm your responsibility. If you would have taken that responsibility seriously, none of this would have happened. How can you possibly think that I can kill you, Helena? Yes, we fight, but you're my sister. I don't hate you. I just don't understand why mom is pushing me to take care of you all the time. You don't know, do you? Know what? After having me, Mom suffered from a very bad case of postpartum depression. She couldn't look at me. How she has a hard time looking at me now. That's why she needed you to step in and help. That's why she continues to do so. I, I, I didn't know. She, she never told me anything. And she never will. Oh. Don't worry, sis. You're forgiven. And I'll make this quick. Helena, please. I'm sorry. Please, 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 Helena. <laughs> Good thing if I went to the right cleaner to get my tie. You're right, Damien. Big Bertha was the right choice. Damien? Oh. My mom's ex? Yeah, that'd be me, Allison. You know about me? Your mother talks about you all the time. Where is she, by the way? She, I mean, she went to the hospital to go get blood. As you can see, Elena was bit. It was for her blood transfusion. The wolf? who attacked her was bitten by an alpha. So the lichen blood was more potent. Her transformation was inevitable. Oh, so that means you may as well just finish me off then, right? Just make sure to aim the rifle straight and I can join my sister in the afterlife. I'm sorry, Allison. I'm afraid I can't do that. You have to. I mean, she's already killed for people. If you don't, I'm just gonna continue her bloodlust. I don't think you fully understand what I'm trying to say. You're not gonna turn because you're immune. Immune? You're immune. Damien, don't. She has to know. You're immune because you're just like me. What does that even mean? You're a kid, Allison. Not Rogers. What? Your mother's almost here. Tell her to burn all the bodies. Best to make sure the lichen blood doesn't spread. Come on, mister. All right, later, alley cat. Wait! What are you doing out here? Helena? My baby! What did you do to my baby? She, she got out, she killed Drake, Trixie. Caleb and Mandy, um, she, she scratched me in the back and she was gonna kill me, but the ex Damien, he showed up. Damien was here? Yeah. And he, he said he was my dad. 